a few new faces in the door since we last spoke. Just tell us a wee bit about Lewis, Palma and Nat Phillips and what they'll bring to the squad. Uh, well, Lewis obviously was someone we were looking to, to bring in on, you know, in the attack in front of the game. He's, he's obviously an exciting player who uh, he's very good in the 1v1 situation. Uh, works hard, he's quick, and, uh, and but we still feel there's there's still a lot of potential there. So, um, so yeah, so really excited by being able to work with him. I think a few of the other guys were just waiting to to confirm. Obviously, Nat is um, someone who comes in from with big club experience, and uh, you know, really clever guy who's who's done fantastic for Liverpool. So. Uh, so yeah, so and he'll add that experience for us. We're in, in a position that we were struggling with injury. Paolo Bernardo expected to join as well. Is that one close? And what can you tell us about him? What will he add to the squad as well? Well, hopefully, I think the again a young player that's coming in with with potential, and as I said, that will hopefully be confirmed. But um, but yeah, he comes in with the opportunity to to see him to to give us again uh, more strength and depth in that midfield area. And we'll see how he develops. How many, if any, are able to go straight into to the match on Sunday? Of the new signings, sorry, should I say? Yeah, well, listen, we'll, we'll assess and see that over the course of the next uh, next 48 hours. So, um, again, it's the players come in and having the time to adapt, and, and we just assess it from there. But we're not just taking them in for the weekend's game, it's over the course of the season. With Paolo going in, any other? Incomings expected before the midnight deadline tonight? I'm not so sure. I don't think there'll be uh, many more coming in. What about in terms of outgoings? There was obviously a lot of talk about Haksibanovic and his social media posts this week. Is he expected to leave the club? Uh, I would think so, yeah. Um, I think I said before a couple of weeks ago here, I, I felt there'd be players that would want to go out and play games and, and start. So. Um, so Hax is one of those uh, that uh, is, will look for game time and, and, and want to be a starter. So, uh, so I would expect him to be uh, moved on. What's your thoughts on what you had to say on social media? Yeah, I, to be fair, I'm not on social media, so I don't know. But um, yeah, I, d I did speak to him on it. Uh, I was a bit surprised, to be honest. I think that uh, certainly from when I came into here, he's been offered nothing but respect by everyone and certainly by myself in terms of the communication with them and the conversations but um, but this is a, a new generation and uh, a new uh, a new wave of player so um, so yeah but it's it, it doesn't matter to me. Do you expect a few more outgoings as you mentioned as well as Sead? We'll, we'll see we'll, we'll see what the the rest of the day brings uh, I wouldn't anticipate maybe too many but uh, but you never know. Is it key you hold on to you know some of your top players' reports yesterday that a bid had been turned down for Matt O'Reilly? Yeah, listen, there's, when you have good players, there's always going to be interest, but uh, but definitely Matt is, is a player that you know I, I want to have here and part of what I'm doing. I've been really impressed by him over the course of the, the short time I've been here so far, so um, we'll look forward to continue working with him. Especially this close to the deadline, you, you know, you really wouldn't want to be losing any of the, the players you would consider key to what you're trying to do here. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. Well, I don't anticipate that. So, um, as I said, we uh, we're trying to put strength into the squad rather than deplete it. A busy day today, but a big game on Sunday as well. A fixture you really enjoyed in your last spell here. Are you looking forward to it again? Yeah, yeah. It's it's an iconic game. It's a fantastic game to be involved in, and um, yeah, it's always. As I said, we go there and, and look to perform and, and play to the level that we want to play, then we have a great chance of getting the result. Maybe not the form you would have wanted to go into this game with, but is this the, the type of game that, that maybe goes out the window, the players you know, have that motivation of it being a big derby match? Yeah, well, you certainly don't need to, to motivate the players. I think it's, as you say, it's a fantastic game to be involved in. Listen, our, our opening three games, we, we've drawn two and... and um, uh, one, two, sorry, and, and drawn one. Um, I think more for me, it's more the performance level. But when I analysed the game last weekend, you know, we could have won the game four or five nil if we get the the early goal. And the keeper makes a, a great save. But the performance level, we, you know, I look at the speed of the game and the position of the game needs to improve. But as I said, I analysed the game and and uh, 
it's you know the fix of the, the the things that we need to improve on. I've seen already over the course of the week. So uh, so I think we're only going to get better. You certainly don't win the league in August, but uh, but it's something that uh, we will improve on for sure. In your first spell, did you always feel that the first derby game of the season was one that could maybe help set the tone for the rest of the campaign? Not really. No, you just you go into each game. You know that it's where you stand at the end of the season. Of course, you want to go in and and, and play well and put a marker down. But um, but it's not the be all and end all. I think it's it's a game we want to go in and play well in and perform in and look to get the result. Back in the Champions League as well, what did you make of the draw for the group stage? Yeah, it's always exciting. Of course, when you watch it and you see the teams and you see all the groups and to be a part of that is. It's fantastic. So um, yeah, it's, it's great for players to go and and uh, pitch themselves in against the, the very best players in Europe. You know, and for the supporters, they're going to go to some great cities, some great stadiums, and uh, yeah, we uh, we want to be in there and be competitive and and fight to get through the group. You won't have had a lot of time to analyse it yet, but just specifically, what do you make of the tests of the teams you've been paired against? Well, whoever you want to play, it's it's. It's the best teams, so you know, you, whatever whatever group you're going to be in, they're they're always you know they're, they're champions and they're established teams and, and fantastic teams. So, um, so I'm just excited about the games. You know, the the players worked very very hard last year uh, to to win the title and earned the right to be in there. So we uh, we'll play the teams that we do. Some very good teams, of course. We we fantastic managers and we'll. Uh, we we'll accept that challenge when the games come. I think the general consensus from most Celtic fans was that it could have been a lot worse in terms of other teams that were in there. How much can you see Celtic progressing from this group, be it last 16 or maybe into the, the third spot into into the Europa? Yeah, I, listen, my, my I'll think of that when it comes. I think it's for me, it's just about you arrive there and you and you play who you play against. You know, there's obviously every team is a fantastic team in their own right. They've earned the right to be there, so you can sometimes look at a team and think, well, it's not Real Madrid or Barcelona, so it, uh, it'll be an easy game. There's never an easy game at the level, but we want to go in and, and perform and, and be competitive. And if we can do that, then of, of course that would give us a great chance to, to hopefully qualify. I think the, the overriding aim for me is to make sure and see if we can be in Europe after Christmas. That's, that's what we would like to be in, and then anything above that would be fantastic. Just taking you back to you, you, analysing last week's game and, and, the, and the performances in general, do you, do you feel some players are maybe just taking a wee bit of time to, to adjust to maybe a, a tweak in the style of play? This new, new manager, I think Dyson Maida was saying last week that it's Angie's tactics were kind of instilled in him. He'd obviously worked under him longer than the, the rest of them, but obviously Angie brought in a lot of these players as well. Is that maybe just taking a wee bit of time to, to adjust for some players? I think it will do. Listen, I'm not here to jeopardise the strategy of the of the team or, or lock the team and myself into anything that would that would uh, fail or, or not work. It's just uh, it's just time, you know. It's just time, you know. I don't really want to go on about injuries, and but there's there's injuries to key players that that can really make the system function, of course. But um, but I've absolutely no doubt. I know how to win. I know what it takes to win, and I'll show the players how to win. It might not be in the first game of the season, but over the course of the season and over the course of my time here, I believe we'll do that. But um, but it's just little little details of, like I say, of what will will improve with the players as as we we work forward. But my teams have always been based, and my body of work hopefully shows that my teams have always been aggressive and on the front foot and, and attacking and creative. And fast and powerful, and and this team will be that over time as well. So, um, but in the meantime, we need to continue to get results and work and and look to improve. Sorry, Just obviously going back to the fact that it's the first derby this season. Did that always come with a wee bit of a sense of the unknown? Just you know, your, each opponent is, is is you know rebuilt during the summer. It, it was always a wee bit different going into this first one. Without the kind of um, the reference point of the, the previous one. Sorry, I don't understand. Just, just because it's the first derby of the season and both teams have, have changed quite a lot over the over the over, you know, over the summer. Does it always is it always a wee bit more difficult going into this game? A wee bit of an unknown about it as well. 
Not really. I think listen, we, we analyse the opponents that we play. You know, whether it's Rangers or St Johnston or or whoever, we we always analyse. Obviously, Michael's been in and, and looking to establish his way of working on the on the group, having come in last last season, and and they have numbers of changes as well. But I think that's how the, the squads will be. Like certainly for Celtic, you know, every two three years there's a cycle here where the players change, and uh, and that's been no different this summer. So. Um, there's a change, of course. You then add injuries to that, so then all of a sudden the the, the makeup of the group looks slightly different. But in terms of style, our style will always remain the same. How we want to work, how we want to play, uh, and it's just about getting up to speed with that and getting that intensity in our game. You have players coming back, the likes of O. Is he? Yeah, yeah. O's back in training, so he'll be available. Is anyone else coming back? Uh, no, I, th I think the, the guys obviously were out that a bit longer term will hopefully be back in after the uh, the international break.